Hi guys, welcome to my channel Lush Gardener. I hope you guys are fine and are safe. In today's video, we'll be talking about how to fix a succulent with dry stem. But before that, let's try and understand what exactly and what causes dry stem. Now here, as you can see, this is a perfect example wherein the succulent has a dry stem, which means that the stem is no longer functional. Now the stem, as we all know, is like the lifeline of the succulent or of any plant. It basically connects the plant to the roots. Now, unfortunately, you can see there is a disconnect. Now, whenever you are going to water the succulent, it will not be able to give water to the succulent because there is a disconnect. The roots, even if the roots tend to absorb, they cannot send that water to the plant. Now, that's the reason why you can see because the succulent wants to live. You can see the succulent is still very healthy. Now, the reason why the succulent is still very healthy and has not got dehydrated, the reason is this small little tiny root. You can see there is an aerial root just above where the stem has started to dry. Apart from taking water from this aerial root, the succulent also tends to absorb moisture from the air during the photosynthesis which happens during the night. Now, these are the two combinations due to which the succulent is still thriving. Apart from that, the size of the succulent is also very small. So that is the reason why it's still doing quite well, even though it has a dry stem. But guys, if you tend to see something like this, do not ignore these signs. Take care of it. Fix the succulent. We will talk in the later part of the video how it can be fixed. Here is another example. As you can see, the same issue. The succulent stem is completely dry. And when I'm just going to turn it around, you can see the amount of aerial roots which are pink in color. Now you have to differentiate it. This is not stem rot because as you can see, the stem is very stiff. It is basically only dried out and this is nothing like a rot. In stem rot, the succulent will not be able to put out aerial roots. The stem is going to be soft. It's going to be mushy. And it does not tend to put out any aerial roots. But in a dry stem, if the succulent is still doing quite well, you will tend to find a lot of aerial roots. And that's how the succulent is trying to manage by absorbing moisture from the air. But again, it should not go unnoticed. The moment you see something like this, you have to take care of it. So what exactly causes dry stem? Now, there are a couple of factors and reasons that could lead to a dry stem. A lot of times it can happen due to your environment, temperature or the climate. Usually you'll tend to see dry stem during the summer season because that's when the soil tends to get heated up. There's a lot of heat. It's very warm. Usually the succulents tend to suffer from dry stem. Apart from this, the major reason could be your soil. In case if your soil tends to get compact, it will suffocate the roots and then it tends to affect the stem as well. Apart from this, there could be damage to the stem due to which the stem is drying. So there are a couple of reasons, not just one. Uh, probably one could be, as I said, the soil. Now, this is how a healthy stem tends to look like. You can see the color of the stem just by looking at it. You can feel that this plant is really healthy. Now, this is how usually the stem tends to look like. It has this beautiful healthy color. You can see that the roots are also present. So this is one of the examples wherein you can see that the stem is doing absolutely fine. Now, how do we take care of fix a succulent that has a dry stem? Now, what you can do is just go ahead and cut off the dry part. But what you can do is you can just cut it below the aerial root. Now, this is one option. I'll show you another option as well. Now, over here, I will quickly go ahead and cut it off. And now we have a aerial root. But again, guys, remember, even though it is a cut part, even though it is a dry part, we have gone ahead and cut it, but we will still not water it because it is an open wound, even though it is dry. So now we have our aerial root. All we have to do is just wait for the cut to heal and then put it into the soil. Probably after a few days, maybe four or five days, you can start watering it. The same thing goes with this one as well. The part where you tend to see uh, the stem is dry and the place where you tend to see the aerial roots just give a cut in between so that we have our aerial roots intact. And at the same time, we tend to get rid of the dry part. 
Now guys, again, as you can see, even though it was dry, we cut it off, but still there is a lot of open wound, which again, we have to let it dry. Uh, it will again take some time, probably two or three days, or depending upon your environment, you will be able to callus it. And once that's done, we have our aerial roots present. We do not need to wait or we do not need to be worried that the roots have to come out. The roots are already present. So we all have to do is just put it into the soil and then water after probably four or five days. I'm going to do the same thing to this guy as well. It feels a little difficult to cut any part of the succulent, but then this is in the best interest. So now I'll go ahead and cut it off as well. And you will be able to see the fresh cut. If you tend to notice that there is still a little bit of browning on the stem, you will have to cut it a little bit more. But whenever you tend to see that the stem is clean enough, which means that you have completely got rid of the dry stem. Now, all you have to do is just wait for them to callus. As I said, these are all open wounds. If it comes in contact with moisture, there is a high chance or high risk that the succulent might get rotted. So guys, I will also show you this uh, because a lot of people tend to say that they do not have aerial roots. Even if you have aerial roots, you can still go ahead and cut it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut it a little higher because a lot of people say that uh, they are quite scared of cutting succulents. So I'm going to show it to you once again. Uh, even if there are no aerial roots, you can still go ahead and cut in case if you happen to see a succulent, the stem is starting to dry up, but there is no aerial roots. You can just cut it off wherever you feel that it is uh, safe to cut. Just ensure that you have a good part of the stem. And because this stem is still very fresh because I've already cut the affected part, but I have this stem, I'm not going to throw it away. I will let it callous and I'm going to use this stem in the soil. I'm going to put it in the soil and probably it will give me some pups. I'm not 100% sure, but usually I advise you guys, whenever you have a situation like this, do not throw away things. Keep it aside because you never know. Succulents are opportunistic growers. They tend to put out a lot of new pups and leaves. So at any point of time you feel something might grow or something is still very healthy, do not throw it away. Keep it aside. You never know. You might get lucky. So guys, I hope that this video was helpful to you. If it was, please hit the like button. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing to it. Until then, take care, stay safe and keep propagating.